All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, we're excited to talk to you about uh, really a, a great new way, I think, to serve the middle market. And you know, this is, uh, this is a space that I've been involved in for a very long time, the, the foreign national underwriting space. Um, but we want to do things a little bit different, and we'll talk about that today as well. We want to focus on life insurance for foreign residents and really create new middle market growth. And so I've got Bruce Scheiber on the line. Again, he's going to chime in and, and give some underwriting perspective uh, to what we're going to talk about today. And he really is our partner in sales uh, to really help us you know, get this business through. And if we're working on case design, Bruce is a great partner for us. And um, you know, again, he's been leading our underwriting team for many years. So again, uh, the middle market space, and you guys can see my screen now, is, is really a market that we want to focus on even more as a company. And so there's there's greater need like uh, ever before, and we've talked about this, where we have to continue to focus on this as a growth market. And what we wanna talk about today is how we can continue to expand uh, our middle market presence. And look, the middle market, um, again, is underserved. We talked about that. And I feel like there's an underserved market in the foreign resident uh, space. And so we have a lot of clients that are here. Uh, maybe they're here on visas, maybe they're here uh, you know, maybe they've lived here, they've got an expired visa, maybe they're here and they're undocumented and they've grown a business here and they have a family here and they have a real insurance need. That's really who we wanna talk about today is who can we serve in the middle market space within our foreign resident program opportunity. And so the foreign resident uh, you know, demographic is rapidly growing in the United States, uh, tremendous opportunity there. Foreign resident clients, they want life insurance, but we know clients that are in this uh, space sometimes have dif uh, difficulty obtaining the life insurance that they need to protect their families. And so, you know, really we see that foreign residents in the middle market are underserved by really the existing product options today in the marketplace. And so those who do business or own property in the United States really need an appropriate middle market product to, to basically provide the protection that they're looking for. So again, it's underserved, tremendous opportunity here, um, and there's limited product options that are available to people that fall into this category. Bruce, I don't know if you had any other thoughts or comments about really this space that we're talking about today. Uh, no, I just would, would echo what you said. I, we think it's a great opportunity and, and it fits right into our uh, underwriting uh, methodology for middle market. I think it's a great fit for us. And uh, I'll, we'll talk a little bit more about underwriting in a bit here, so. Okay, great. So as we go to the next slide, you know, who's eligible? That's really important. You know, as you're, you're maybe in this space already, uh, maybe you're considering this space, but who would qualify for our program? So there's really three categories that qualify. The first is Canadian citizens. You know, in, in the U.S. on a passport, they own residential property or business with operations in the U.S. That's the first category. The second would be non-U.S. citizens with a valid visa living here in the U.S. for one or more consecutive years. They have stable employment. They have that nexus to the U.S. And they're here on some of the following visas like H-1B, H-1C, um, H-4, E-1, E-2, E-3, E-B-5, F-1, F-2. You guys can see the list there. But again, uh, people that are here for one or more consecutive years on uh, the following visas. So a non-U.S. citizen with a valid visa that has that strong nexus to the US. Um, and then the next is a non-US citizen without a green card or a visa. So this is someone living in the US for five or more consecutive years. They have a valid form of government issued identification. They have a driver's license. They have a state ID, social security number, um, an I-10 for example and they're 18 years or older. So that's that third category that we want to talk about. So Bruce, I'll just turn it over to you. Any other comments on who's eligible for our program? Yeah, no, that's that's the the basic list. I, I just want to give some underlying uh, background there. You know, we're looking for uh, people who we can get a sense of permanence. Uh, they want to stay. They're going to stay in the United States. Uh, and that's why as you go down that list, the length of time in the United States kind of goes up. So folks that at the bottom of the list there, the non-U.S. citizens without a green card or a visa, you know, uh, you know, technically they, they they don't have government permission to be in the United States anymore, but we think that it's still a good risk if they've been here for a number of years and they have established uh, as as uh, 
Nathan says, a nexus, uh, you know, they, they've got property they or they've got a job, they've, they've been here a while, and uh, or maybe their kids are in school, those kind of things that give us a sense that they're not uh, heading back to their home country anytime soon. So that, that, that would be my, my basic premise there. That's great. Um, again, so we want to talk about who's eligible and who's not eligible. So again, this is pretty straightforward, but people that wouldn't be eligible for the program are insureds that are, let's say, in occupations like political figures, judges, military, uh, politicians, union leaders, missionaries. So, so people that are in the foreign kind of national category, this foreign national opportunity, the foreign resident space that we're talking about, people that fall into these categories, government leaders, journalists, um, those are occupations that would not be eligible. But I think that's pretty straightforward. And if you're in this space already, that's pretty common to what we see out there in the marketplace. And then also who's not eligible are people traveling to any country where we have a U.S. travel advisory. Um, you know, let's say certain countries that are just not safe to travel to, um, you know, we would, we would not be able to consider those clients for coverage. So I think this is a pretty straightforward slide here on our program. Um, so let's talk about the el eligible products and benefits. Um, what I really like about our program, again, that's focused on really the middle market need here that we're talking about, is we have our full portfolio of life products that are available. So we can offer term life, our ROP term, whole life, or universal life. Um, so again, we have the full portfolio of life products available. And look, we can consider face amounts above a million if you have a larger case. Um, again, maybe you're serving more of a high net worth client, that's fine. We want to be able to consider that business too. But again, like we talked about just a few slides back, we're really trying to target and focus on um, you know, the resident foreign nationals, people that are more middle market looking for uh, insurance to protect their business, protect their home, um, you know, protect their family. And so again, for face amounts up to a million, that's really kind of who we're targeting. Again, if you have higher face amounts, that that's fine. Uh, we also want to consider, but, you know, talk to us about that if you're working on a larger case. But we're really looking for issue ages 18 to 70. And we can consider if you're under the age of 18, if you're a juvenile, um, if the, the child is a U.S. citizen or the policy owner is a middle market foreign resident program parent who is properly insured, we can consider under the age of 18 as well. Um, now, the, the riders that are available with the life products that I talked about, term, whole life, and universal life, um, we can add the ROP rider on the term. Um, we have level term rider on whole life and UL. Um, but outside of that, that would just be uh, the base or those would be the uh, riders that we would be able to offer within this program. Now, the exciting thing to talk about is our risk classification. And I know Bruce will comment in just a second. But what's exciting is we can consider preferred rate classes, our very best rate class uh, for clients that fell into the three categories that we talked about. So we're not going to necessarily limit or penalize somebody at a standard rate class just because they fall into a certain category. We're really going to look at the whole picture, look at the whole client from an underwriting standpoint, and we can consider up to the best rate class. So let me pause there and go over to Bruce and let him provide some additional commentary on this. Yeah, yeah. I think we initially thought maybe we wouldn't do the preferred classes, but um, after a little bit of experience, we realized that the the rate uh, it's fully underwritten. So we take a good look at them, and with the, the normal requirements, uh, we can get to preferred and preferred plus on uh, those people in this category, which is exciting um, for us. And also, you know, we. Like Nathan said, um, maximum listed face amount is a million, but but with um, some extra documentation and some questions answered, we could probably go over that um, as an exception basis. Uh, but also, you know, we'll go to table four. It's not, you know, just not the, the the best classes, but we will go all the way out to table four on these people too. So they don't have to be standard risk or better, which I've seen some programs in the country that do that that way. Um, and that's about it. Yeah, that's great. And, you know, we adjusted the program based on some feedback from some uh, some pilot user groups that we initially kind of rolled this out um, as we've been working on this program. And so, again, we've been listening to you, the distribution partner on, hey, what's going to create a successful program here at Assurity, um, you know, to really serve kind of the middle market foreign resident. And, you know, we, we really got that feedback and we were able to make some adjustments, I think, to, to really make this very competitive. Um, and so I'm very excited about that as well. 
So how it works, let's talk about the process a little bit, and then I wanna talk about some sales ideas or you know, really, you know, who are we looking for at Assurity uh, to fit into this program? So here's how it works. Uh, the first thing is, you know, you need to make sure as, as an agent, as an agency, if you're in this space and we're wanting to, uh, you know, maybe roll this out to your agents or you wanna start working with clients that fall into this category, we wanna make sure you take some time to review the program requirements um, and really make make sure you can confirm the client eligibility, right? Just kind of that prep work in advance. Um, and again, you can always reach out to the sales team as well if you have questions on that or if someone would or wouldn't qualify, we're happy to run that down for you. Uh, but the first is, you know, you wanna complete the life insurance application. A part of the process is uh, we have a, an application submission checklist. And so that really includes the foreign national questionnaire, uh, which you'll wanna submit with every application. Um, we do encourage, we strongly encourage a cover letter. Now it's not mandatory, but it's strongly encouraged. Um, I'd almost say it's required, uh, but just you know, put a little cover letter on there explaining uh, a little more detail about the client. You know, Maybe if there's something that we would have a question on, if you could include that in the cover letter, just to, to really kind of give the underwriter a great picture of this client um, and, and how they would fit into the program, that's always recommended. And then any required documentation, um, you know, copies of the visa, um, copies of any any documents that we would need to be able to validate if they qualify or not. So um, for national questionnaire, cover letter, required documentation, and then of course a completed life insurance application. Um, right now we have all of the forms in a PDF kit. Um, we are going to build this into our electronic submission process, you know, over the next probably year. But right now it's still in kind of a, a PDF format. So again, you can use a form fillable PDF kit and then you can email all the documents in the application kit. Um, you can utilize DocuSign if you're using DocuSign, but submit all that to our app submit at assurity.com. We have a dedicated team of underwriters that are assigned to this business. So as it comes in, um, it's not just gonna be routed to all the underwriters that we have on the team. It's gonna go to um, a core group of underwriters that are working this program for us. And so again, uh, they're gonna get more familiar with the business that's coming in, but also they're more subject matter experts in this space. And to me, that's, that's a great benefit from a distribution standpoint. And then you can track your application status on a sure link, and then you can always reach out to your sales team if you have any questions. Um, so that's really how it works as far as uh, submitting your, your first application or what we're, we're looking for. Um, and and we'll, we'll kind of show you where to get all that in just a second. So, Let's, let's quickly talk about a couple sales ideas. You know, really who fits into, uh, into the, the foreign resident middle market program. And so, you know, let's look at this first client here. We've got a husband and wife. We've got Isabel and Beto. They operate a small dry cleaning business. They've immigrated from El Salvador on a visa. They have a young family. Um, they're working toward their citizenship. We know sometimes that takes um, some time. And so really they have a huge insurance need to protect their family to protect their business and to make sure if the worst happens that they can provide um, you know, a legacy or provide uh, income protection or education protection uh, to the surviving spouse or to the children. And so it's, it's really a simple story here, right? Where we protect the mother and father, um, they each decide uh, to buy their own uh, term policy. So they buy an ROP term. And you know, if you do total monthly income, it's $158 a month. For both of them to have their own policy um, of 250,000 30-year ROP term benefits. So again, it's really uh, it's providing uh, term insurance, whole life insurance, universal life insurance, whatever they can afford. Right, finding the right product solution to fit the need, um, but but giving them the ability to take out the coverage to make sure they're protecting their business and make sure they're protecting their family um, because they need this type of coverage. So again, that's that's one example from a sales idea standpoint. Um, setting them up with our ROP term, uh, both on the mom and dad to protect the family, protect the children, um, and it, it totals $158 a month. So the next sales idea is, so we have someone who's, uh, maybe they don't have a family, maybe they're a working professional. So we have Lynn here, she's 33. She moved to the US when she was 17 and she's working as an accountant. She lives with her boyfriend. She has a mortgage, uh, you know, she has credit card debt. Um, you know, she has a real insurance need here to, to make sure she protects uh, herself, protect her home, um, and then also, you know, her boyfriend. And so the solution for her is a combo approach where we do 
a $100,000 whole life policy paid to age 65. So that will also accumulate um, some strong accumulation for her as she uh, maybe is looking to help supplement retirement. She's gonna pay this to age 65 and then stop paying premiums entirely. It's gonna be guaranteed for the rest of her life. So she's got that permanent policy locked down. And then she's got a $250,000 20 year level term rider that she added on as well um, for mortgage protection. And so, you know, total uh, monthly uh, price point for her is gonna be $133. And so again, she's got that combo, she's got the permanent and the term, um, and she's able to protect her mortgage and also build some accumulation long-term um, with the pay to 65 whole life product and issued at preferred plus non-tobacco rate class. Um, as an example here, getting the ability to offer best rate class in this space. So here's a perm term blend example or sales idea. So let's talk about the tools that we've got to help you sell. So again, we've got a microsite and I'll give you the link to that in just a second. Um, but all of the materials that, uh, that we have available, we've translated into Spanish, Mandarin, Chinese, Korean, and Vietnamese, um, as well as a trust flyer that talks about a surety, talks about our history and who we are as a company. So again, if, if we're gonna really commit to this space, we wanna make sure that we have the right platform um, to really serve the markets that, that we're wanting to go after those growth markets, but make sure you have in language material as well and that we're fully committed to that as a company and we are, and we're excited to be able to provide this microsite to you today as we roll this out on a national level. Um, so the program requirements, again, we talked about um, the guidelines for the middle market foreign resident program. We talked about who's eligible. Um, we have a, a document that's two pages, two and a half pages that literally goes through the whole program. Um, and so we'll be able to provide that to you through the microsite that I'll give you in just a second. Um, so again, take some time to familiar, uh, familiarize yourself with that. Um, the next is we have the foreign national questionnaire. Um, you can easily get that from the website. There is a few different state variations depending on what state that you're residing in. And right now we have all of this approved for all states, but California and New York. So we are waiting on California uh, for approval. So hopefully any day now, um, and we still haven't kind of worked through the New York. Um, I, I don't think that's uh, an area we're gonna focus on a life side right now, uh, but we are focused on California and waiting on that to get approved. But again, uh, make sure uh, you grab the right foreign national questionnaire. And then we also have that application submission checklist to really kind of make sure that you're submitting everything in good order. Again, we're using the PDF electronic kits. Uh, they're form fillable. You can use DocuSign like we talked about. Uh, but this is a great kind of application submission checklist to make sure that you're teeing up that client, uh, providing a surety underwriters everything that they need to be able to make a decision quickly um, for our middle market foreign resident program. And I talked about availability. It's available in all states right now. So we've got uh, wide availability. We're still waiting on California and New York, um, but anywhere else outside of those states, uh, this program is available right now. And the microsite. So this is going to be really important. If you go to assurity.com forward slash forward slash foreign resident. Um, again, we can uh, email this out to everybody as well. But if you just uh, key that in, that'll take you right to the microsite. And all of the material that we have covered today um, is going to be available on our um, our website that's specifically for our foreign resident foreign resident middle market program. Uh, if you have any questions, we also have a dedicated sales team across the country. So, um, you know, if you're located in California, Nevada, Arizona, you can contact your senior sales manager, Daniel Kim. Um, you know, you can see here, you call the 1-800 number, 800-276-7619. He's at extension 4379. You can also email him as well. Um, if you're in, you know, let's say the Southeast, Doug Bedore, Mike Feltman, again, we've got their contact information as well. And uh, again, if you call the 800 number and you don't know the extension of your sales representative, that's fine. You can zero out and you can get to any one of us or we can assist you if you have any questions. Um, I'll leave this on the screen. We're gonna stop here and we're gonna take some questions. Um, again, we're very excited about uh, you know, this new opportunity for the middle market. We feel like there's tremendous growth opportunity. Um, we know that we wanna partner with you to also provide additional training in your office. Uh, maybe it's it's with you directly. So you know, please reach out. Please let us know if you have any questions on this. But we will open it up to questions. So if you have a question, please key 
um, into the question section. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of take them one at a time and we'll answer them as they come in. Um, Bruce, let me just pause there. Any additional comments on the program? Anything else you'd want to say um, just from an underwriting standpoint? Yeah, just kind of a echoing, reiterating uh, things that are already said. We're very excited about this program in, in underwriting. And the underwriters that are assigned to do this work uh, have experience in the foreign national business with other carriers. Um, so we've been fortunate to uh, recruit underwriters that, that already had experience with this. So we're very excited and very equipped to handle the business. All right. Um, so again, if you have a question on our middle market foreign resident program, you know, please don't hesitate uh, to reach out. Um, I know we are right at time. Um, so again, thank you for taking, you know, 30 minutes to be a part of this call. If you need assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out to our sales team. I know you can see it on the screen here. 1-800-276-7619. Um, if you'd like to reach out to me uh, directly on any of the content that was covered today, feel free to send me an email at ndriscoll at assurity.com. That's N-D-R-I-S-K-I-L-L at assurity.com. Or you can reach me 1-800-276-7619. I'm at extension 3653. But again, thank you for your time today. Thank you for your interest um, in this program. And again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Everybody have a great day and we will talk to you next time.